Okay. Yeah. Going live everywhere. All right. Hello, <laughs> hello. Good to see you. Likewise. Yeah. So, okay, take us to the beginning. Um, yeah. When it all started, you were five years old when you started <laughs> acting. So well, wh- wh- how did that happen? Well, actually, when I started acting in front of a camera, uh, legend says first time I stepped on a stage, I was 11 months old, uh-huh. substituting my brother. Uh, my parents That's... had a theater company, so uh-huh. I just followed my parents' steps. No. And then I was the girl, the little girl in the Spanish version of Sesame Street for many uh-huh. years. <laughs> Yeah. How what was it called in in the Spanish version of Sesame Street? Barrio Sesamo. Barrio Sesamo. Oh, really like the same program. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that great. was it. And instead of Big Bird, we had like a huge big uh pink uh porcupine. Okay. And yeah, I spent there many years. Then I mm-hmm. went to study in the United States um to California. Mm-hmm. And started my career acting. Mm-hmm. Um, I did my first movie when I was 18 years old. I won a Goya Award, which is the uh, Academy Spanish Academy Award. The Spanish Award. Academy, wonderful. Congrats. Right. Thanks. And I've been working ever since. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot. Not very mm-hmm. much since I turned 40, of course, but I guess mm-hmm. happens everywhere in the world. Yeah, maybe maybe it's going to change. Hopefully it's it's changing. It's changing. The good thing is that the characters that I'm having now, they're more interesting. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to get myself ready to be able to face them without fear and enjoy them. Because I, I really, I really love my job. I really want to keep doing this mm-hmm. and learn mm-hmm. and grow and feel mm-hmm. there's no limit. Yeah. So I uh, can you go a little bit into... Right before you started this work that we did together, where was the fear coming from or what was that fear? Can you give us a picture of it? Like you were auditioning or whatever or acting and how would it show up? What did it look like? Well, I've done quite a lot of um, classic theater, Mm -hmm. which I love. Mm -hmm. And I was beginning to feel that after so much time, I just knew too well what to do Mm -hmm. and I couldn't go further because Mm -hmm. that was it Mm -hmm. and I had that feeling that this is not enough Mm -hmm. it shouldn't be that's it Mm -hmm. I couldn't fly basically Mm -hmm. and And that's a very I think it's a it's a really sorry to interrupt you but I think that's a really relevant point that I kind of want everyone to hear because often when actors don't start when they're 11 year old and don't win a Goya award and are not working all the time, they are thinking, oh, everything's going to change when I get all the opportunities and when I work all the time. And I keep saying, no, it won't. I have so many actors that are coming that have been like acting nonstop for decades and they are in pain, or they feel frustrated, or they feel like you just said, I know too much how this is going to go. And so this doesn't feel alive anymore. So I'm going to take a, you know, a speakerphone and make sure everyone <laughs> hears that it's not like it's not the opportunities that will change the way you show up when you act. It's always going to be something that's inside out. It's never outside in. Of Correct. course, you always learn, like, especially yeah. if you're doing, like, daily TV, mm-hmm. you learn how to fix things. Yeah. But that, after a while, you say, I'm not doing my work. I'm just no. fixing things. I'm just yeah. trying to make it work. I'm just trying to yeah. do this for the technicians, for the director, for yeah. the yeah. Um, editing. But how about mm-hmm. myself? When am yeah. I going to do my job? For myself yeah. and, and have my fun and my yeah. chunk of it yeah which is inevitably if there is a formula the formula is the following if you don't do it for yourself you're not fully alive if you're not fully alive no one benefits no one gets the result that they need because your job 
as the only living ingredient on set is to bring life. And if you're not attending to your own inner life, you're not bringing in the thing that you were hired to bring, which is you need to be 100% Ruth in that moment. And if you're trying to take care of everyone else's needs on a set, you're not doing your job. Yeah. And no one wins. Right. Totally. So it's the, it's sometimes, I guess it's the opposite of the conditioning that we get and the typical, you know, that I would say that the culture's conditioning, the educational conditioning, and then your typical acting class, which is, I have to do it right. I have to do it well. It has to work for the camera, the sound. And, I, and actually the opposite is true. It has to work for you. And that's the yeah. best way it's the best way that you can deliver for them. The best way to be giving is to be selfish. You have to put focus right here. Not, right. And we're I raised think, to think the opposite. Yeah, I've been working mm -hmm. with kids recently mm -hmm. and they still have this freedom. Yes. I don't know how long that it's going to last, but I do remember having that freedom of, yeah. what am I going to do now? What's going to happen now? And have yeah. that excitement and enjoyment yeah. of, I'm going to play. I'm play. actually going to play. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. And you know what we forget about play? If you think of play as in a game, not acting, take play, the word play, the definition of it is you put yourself in unknown circumstances or challenging circumstances. That's in any play, in any game, you put barriers and you do not know what's going to happen. You do not know if you're going to win, but that's the whole thrill of playing is you put yourself in crazy circumstances because you want to get the juice of what's going to happen. But then when we play in acting, what the methods will tell you or what your previous conditioning will force you to do is like not be in the unknown, not play, not be willing to play win or lose, but to actually try to control everything. And if you play and try to control everything in the outcome, you're not playing. So you're not really there. I'll go one step further. It's painful. Yeah. Uh, my yeah, turning also. point was um, I had been for a year and a half uh, doing the house of Bernarda Alba where I started crying and finished crying the whole play. Mm. My physician was going like, what the heck are you doing to your body? Yeah. Because of course I was forcing myself to dig into some things that I was just not having anymore because my body yeah. was saying, I don't want this pain. Mm -hmm. I don't want this. So my mm -hmm. neck, my back, my shoulders, everything was in pain. I couldn't sleep. I was having a terrible time. Wow. And little by little, I started like shutting myself mm -hmm. until I couldn't feel anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's when I said, I really need to break this. I need to mm -hmm. break something somewhere because I just can't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah, when everything starts to. <laughs> Sorry, I hope this is not going to last because recently I have these coughing things that cannot stop. I'm going to drink yeah. some more. Go mm. for it. Cheers. It tickles so bad. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Pain is what I often hear actors yep. talk about. Definitely. Definitely. So <clears throat> you have started to progressively see that you were shutting down and that it was starting to hurt. So that's when you stumble across this work of saying enough of going outside, it's going to go in. Can you say a little bit about, is, is that how it happened that you were just like, okay, this is my next step. Well, I was looking for something that some kind of work that came from within. I knew that I had, I mm -hmm. was like in a bunker and I had to break out of it. And uh, I saw some of your videos in Instagram, in Facebook, and I had a bell ringing like, oh, my, this is interesting. <laughs> I saw some of your free seminars or something. And I was like, oh, this is very interesting. Suddenly I get called to do a movie and I mm -hmm. fell in love with the character that I have to play. Uh, 
I love it, but it's very challenging. And it's like, mm -hmm. I really want to do it right. I really, really need to now come back to myself and give it all my best. Yeah. So, yeah, I tried. <laughs> yeah. And something really so funny, I didn't know that an actress that I love and admire a lot was actually in your program, that is Susana Ornos. Yes. And so I saw her, I was like, okay, people that I admire, people that I love have followed it. Um, they are working with this. Now I really want to get into it. Yeah. I've, I've, um, when I used to live in Madrid, yeah. is when I started working with Susana. Yeah, a very long time ago. The thing is not going away. I'm going to cough like a maniac. Well, keep going. Mm. Go for it. <laughs> Oh my God, I cannot control it. So I'll have to keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so yes, Susanna, Madrid. Okay, so you start doing this work of going inside. How was it for you to reset yourself? How was the experience of it? Like this, up and down, yeah. up and down, up and down. <laughs> it was like, mm -hmm. but... Um... I've gone to many classes and the problem when you've been working since you're very little is that mm -hmm. there's something that, oh yeah, I already know this. Oh yeah, I've gone yeah. through that. Oh yeah, I already yeah. tried that. It comes mm -hmm. on and on and on. But this time it was like, this is very scary. I've never mm -hmm. seen myself here. And if mm -hmm. I go through this, I'm mm -hmm. going to be superwoman. <laughs> oh, so wow. Yeah. I kind of felt the power of going through it. Of, mm -hmm. It was like, it was like giving birth, truly. It was painful, but amazing. It yeah. was huge. It was yeah. really huge. And it was really touching the things that I needed to be touched. Mm. It was really breaking the things that I needed to break. And uh, I am now in the second phase, which is the purpose group. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm coming back to the reset again and yeah. again, because oh, many of yeah. the warm-ups i'm already absolutely addicted to many of the exercise that we do because yeah it, it makes you suddenly feel free it makes you feel like you can yeah. actually do anything yeah you see that power absolutely. well the thing is the it and and i want to even say because i'm very um, obsessed about the language we use around it that power that you talk about is really just being you right because when you're really really you and you're not you know, in that superficial layer of you, but you're really that deep, in a way, being or essence, like uh -huh. you said, you're rebirthed into your essence. When you're really there, it's like there is all the power of life is in you. Like nothing is too far or too close or impossible or it's like it's everything when you're really 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 a hundred percent you truly alive in the moment authentically not trying to be different not trying to be confident not trying to be powerful you could be truly tr truly 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 you and be extremely vulnerable or extremely enraged or extremely afraid but if you go there it's exceptional it's really exceptional. And Joseph Campbell, whom probably only the Americans know, I don't know how known he is in the elsewhere in the world, who was like a very famous philosopher and mythologer, um, says, bliss is any emotion felt fully. So that means anger, sadness, frustration, shame, joy, what, whatever it is. Any emotion, if you're going to feel it fully, you're going to be in bliss. So that means if you're going to be yourself fully in every moment, you're going to be in bliss and everything's possible. Right, because that's our job too. Yeah, really it is your job. To work with those emotions so we can help people understand. Yeah, yeah. If you don't really feel those emotions, if you don't really get into those emotions, what are you teaching them? Yeah. What what are you Don't actually when you're doing a care? That's it. If you're gonna right. play a character 
who has some level of sadness, frustration, rage, all of those diff more difficult or more challenging emotions in our, in our culture. They're not more challenging once you get into them, but in our conditioning, in our culture, they are a bit wrong or bad or negative or whatever. If you're not going to get comfortable with them in your instrument, in your own, yeah, in your own instrument, how are you going to bring them to your character in a story? You won't because you're not wanting to be with them. So you're going to have to fake. You're going to have to push. You're going to have to pretend. And that hurts. And that hurts. And it hurts. <laughs> and it's hurtful Believe to your me. soul, to your heart. It's unfulfilling. And it's a waste of everybody's time to look at because your job is to remind everyone in the audience what it's truly like to be a human being. It's funny because in a way, acting, the role of acting is to undo the lies that we live in reality. Mm -hmm. The right. role of a, of a story is to through play say the truth that we don't dare to live in life so that we can look at those stories as an audience and go, oh. Yeah. And it moves us and it carries us. That's the role of storytelling. Yeah. And connects us, which is yeah. the most beautiful part for me. Yeah. Really. Yeah. It's beautiful. And then but and then but really if it's if you're not going to be truly 100% connected to yourself, how can you expect that your disconnection will connect? It won't connect. It can't. You showing up disconnected is just perpetrating everything yeah. yeah right because one of the problems that I was beginning to understand is I've always been very disciplined when you know when I have to listen to my partner yeah. so I was very focused on listening yeah. to my partner but I wasn't mm -hmm. listening to myself no I was mm -hmm. just focused on what I had in front of me I forgot yeah. about myself yeah so which is normal yeah, which is normal because you've been it was trained. Just a one-way communication yeah. Uh, yeah. thing. Yeah, and it's absolute the absolute normal result of conditioning. You have mm -hmm. been raised since you were little by parents and school who are doing their best. They're not trying to do it wrong, but they're doing their best. This is the culture we live in to disconnect from you. Don't listen to your needs. Mm -hmm. Listen to what everybody else tells you to do. Sit down. Be quiet. Eat like we tell you, feel like we tell you, think like we tell you, like you're raised to listen to others. You're not raised to listen to you. Right. And it so is so juicy. It is so yeah. juicy to have that time for yourself. Yeah. Like you can go crazy. You can be nice. You can be ugly. You can be terrible. You can be fantastic. You can do it. Yeah. yeah. And that's what and art, that. any art, that's what any art reminds everyone whether it's painting, singing, acting, at the end of the day, it's just saying, hey, look, listen to you. When you listen to you, it's genius. It's masterpiece. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for sharing yourself, Ruth. Thank you. Well, it's part of why I do this, because I want to yeah. share. Yeah, 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 totally. So It's part um, of this beautiful job. It's part of what? this beautiful job that we have chosen to do yeah to totally to share yourself totally so um i think that i am complete is there anything that you are still wanting to share that you feel that you haven't touched on i could go hours and hours yeah. but right now I think, definitely you know, uh i mean basic points you just get yourself a new you, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. A new, huge, mm -hmm. big you mm -hmm. able to do amazing things. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. And mm -hmm. I really thank you, Joe, for, for putting no, this program so together. Yeah, really. you're so, 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 so welcome. It's my favorite thing to do. Um, I guess that's my version of my art, which is to get to meet you know, delicious human beings, and then get to witness having the privilege to witness the closure into the opening is like my biggest addiction. That 
opening is just the most um it's crack for me it's total drug it's there's nothing yeah. better there's nothing else for me that's why i'm here i just never get enough of seeing a human being just <laughs> blossom it's beautiful yeah so thank you for doing the dance with me oh i love it Aww. let's tango again yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> can go again uh wonderful you guys well Thank you, Ruth. And if this um, experience and this sharing um, triggers anything in you or resonates, if you want to DM us and ask for more information, um, just, yeah, send us a DM and we'll we'll send you some information. You can also, if you want a free training right away in the link in the bio and then the about section, you have a free training called Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor. So you have a chance at being great. Um, so that will definitely help you do some beginning steps with that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I will see you all live again on Monday and wish you a happy week in the meantime. So I will close our live here. And then I will close our live here. And I will come back to you.